Hello once again. My name is Prosper and this is Sid the Talk. Yeah. This is the Yuletide period, the season of Christmas. We are saying Merry Christmas to everybody watching the program. And back to the topic issue that we're talking about today. We're looking at the educational system in Nigeria. Education, education, education. One of the major issues in the system is policy, implementation, and monitoring. It's not enough for you to go to school. At the end of the day, you come out with your certificates, masters in this, bachelors in that, and yet you're roaming around the streets of Lagos, Nigeria, jobless. Nah. I got in touch with somebody who has the zeal, somebody who's different from the norm, somebody I've never seen the kind of zeal he has in government. Like I keep saying, Nigeria, one of the best countries in the world to live in. One of the so, so blessed countries. See, God bless this country. The thing we say, we never begin to appreciate the kind of blessing when God gives us, even in human resources and in natural resources. Now, there's a man who is, I call him for me, he is the new sheriff in town. He is Professor Idris Bugaji, the new executive secretary for the National Board for Technical Education, MBT in Nigeria. This man don't come with a different mindset that has to do with transforming education. Professor, talk to them. Let them hear. We have not understood the role of skills. There is need for us to refocus the entire educational system away from degrees, even away from the so-called HND. Let's focus on skills, vocational skills, welding, joinery, carpentry, you know, automobile repairs, mechatronics repairs, all these several skills, hundreds of them all over. Construction industry will have several skills. Even today we are importing right here in Nigeria. This is unacceptable. We must change this narrative. If we don't, our youth will continue to be disappointed, unemployed. The degrees are there, but no, no they don't have the skills to fit. Skills today is the currency of labor globally. What I don't hear, he's talking about skills, acquiring skills. It is not to go to the four walls of university, sit down for four years, come up with your credentials, you come there for the street of Lagos, stay for the streets of Abuja, stay for the streets of Enugu, Oere, Imo, and the rest, looking for jobs. Some of them even turn out to becoming bus drivers. Come on. What the prof is saying get skills. Even if you're in the university, there's nothing stopping you from becoming a welder. Nothing stopping you from becoming a photographer. Have these skills with you so that when you are out of school, you can be useful to yourself, your family, the, the, the country, and this talk about unemployment got reduced. We need to give ourselves brain. It is about skills. It is about skills. It is about skills. Just not, not the only skills. So government need to also finance some of these vocational institutions. It's not enough to gather people, teach them on things to do, and you don't finance them like some level of startup funds. No! Give them funds. Small, small money. Oh. Small money. Mm, 500k. Mm, one million. By the time when he learned tell or finish, he come outside, he begins so. Before you know, he defeat a family. And in family, then get multiplying effect. So in family, get family. You know, so before you know, the level of, of, of employment go reduce. Government, wake up! Wake up! Buga J is one of you. This is somebody who is passionate, who knows what the terrain is. He's trying to make everybody understand that, look, it is not enough. No one they tell me, say, you be battle of Keep it! What can you do with these hands? What can you do with your hands? These hands. If you sit in the comfort of your house now and say, okay, there's no job. How can you make money genuinely with your hands? That is what the man is talking about. Skills. Learn how to do stuff. Engineer, bricklayer, electrician, photographer, cameraman. Ah! By the time we set all these balls and all these things in motion, I bet you 
this country will be so great that the level of, of unemployment will disappear and everybody will be self-employed. I bet you. And so please, I'm saying to you, and I'm appealing to government, please, I beg of you. I beg you, Nana. I beg, I beg. Beg, you know, they give them money. Give them money. Give them money. Finance these vocational you know, institutions. Polytechnics. We are looking so much. We, 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 we know that you can do this thing. Come on. Train these people. Equip them. Let them come out to the street and become useful to themselves, useful to their families, useful to Nigeria, and useful to the world. Well, on behalf of the production team, Sonny Davids, Kennedy Johnson, Ali, the tallest man in the building, Royal, Victor, and everybody in the studio, which is wishing you all Nigerians a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, Always remember, Nigeria is a great country. Regardless of what some of our leaders are doing, this is the country to be. Nigeria is not the best country. Nigeria, not be saying Nigeria go better. Nigeria done better, but we have to deal with some things and just put it right. My name is Prosper, and this is a... Let's talk! <laughs>